It's the perfect time for a ship's maiden voyage. The port of Hamburg is celebrating its 824th anniversary, and more than a million visitors have arrived for the party. One of the main attractions is the new Hapag Lloyd luxury liner Europa II. It's not the world's largest cruise ship, but it is one of the most luxuriously appointed. There are spacious accommodations for 516 passengers in a total of 258 suites. Two days before the ship set sail, crew members were making the final preparations. Johann Schrempf is the Europa's hotel manager. He held a similar post on the Europa's sister ship. The goal here is to offer passengers laid-back luxury. We don't have a traditional captain's dinner or formal receptions. We take a more relaxed approach, especially as far as the dress code is concerned. Schrempf takes us to one of the ship's two owner's suites. Each covers 116 square meters. The price is available only on request, but experts say it's probably close to 6,000 euros per person per day. Schrempf is in charge of making sure that all the guest accommodations are in perfect order. When we come into or out of a port, we've got to be fairly quick. The pressure's high. And there's always the chance that we'll overlook something. So I double-check certain areas just to make sure that everything's okay. The suites employ a subtle color scheme, relaxing earth tones of brown, tan and gray, with accents of violet and mauve. The ship's interior was designed by Kai Bunger and Siegfried Schindler. They're making a last-minute check as well, to make sure that everything has gone to plan. We've been on board for two days now, checking out some specifics, like the settings for the lighting. We did some fine-tuning and realigned some of the fixtures so that they properly bring out the interiors. We really do check the smallest details. We have to. The passengers can sense this attention to detail, even if they're not aware of every single aspect. They sense it, and that creates a balanced interior. The spa covers more than 620 meters on deck five. There's plenty of room, both inside and out on the deck. Deck four features the dining and entertainment areas. There are eight restaurants in all, several bars, a jazz club, as well as a theater with room for more than 400 patrons. The final checks have gone without a hitch, and the ship's captain, Jan Ackermann, predicts the maiden voyage will too. The important thing is to make sure that the crew really get to know the workings of the ship. I think that's the most exciting thing about a first voyage. Last minute preparations are also underway below deck. Stefan Wilke is the ship's head chef. He's in charge of preparing gourmet meals for each of the Europa's eight restaurants. I think I get this from my mother. I'm always at the right place at the right time. The food's ready and all I have to do is just sit down and eat. That's fabulous. The Europa 2 was officially christened last Friday night. The next morning, the ship sailed out of the port of Hamburg on its maiden voyage a 10-day cruise to the Portuguese capital, Lisbon.